Today I would like to show you the experience for installing and using uh, Cisco Room Bar in Microsoft Teams Room mode. So we take the Room Bar, make sure we have the latest beta software installed, run the factory reset, start the installation, go through a few settings, choose the Microsoft Teams Room installation and enter the 16 digit code to register it to Control Hub. Then it says install is ready. Um, this installation part now takes a few minutes. In my case, it was only two minutes. Then we get a registration code. We enter at the site shown. There we go. We enter the code and once it is recognized we also enter the user ID and password for the Microsoft Teams room and then it should take a moment and the device registers to the Microsoft Teams environment. In my previous installation, the navigator below was ready at the same time as the room bar itself. And in this case, the navigator seems to be a little bit delayed. So there is no need to do anything on the device itself. Basically all we did was using the ID shown on the display, entered it on a PC where the window was displayed earlier on and then the device is registering itself to the Microsoft Teams environment. Now the navigator is also getting ready. It shows the ID. We use the browser to enter the code plus the Microsoft Teams room user ID and password. And there we go, the navigator is registering itself as well. So the devices, the two devices, the codec and the navigator seem to register themselves separately. So you have to enter the user ID and password twice. But once the device is loaded, it can be paired to the Microsoft Teams room codec via a code. So there we go, it finds the room bar, the codec shows the code, we enter the code on the navigator and the two devices are paired. So we can also see the 
meeting invites coming up already to make sure that Microsoft Teams meetings, Zoom meetings and WebEx meetings can be joined from the device directly. We have to go into the device settings, scroll down to the Teams admin settings and in there we can select meetings and make sure the toggles for Cisco WebEx and Zoom are checked. leaving the menu and as you can see the meeting invites are now showing up with the join button directly. So let's join a WebEx meeting straight away. We are joining the meeting with the Cisco room bar connected to two screens. So we have two participants in the meeting. One is myself the other one is my old friend baby yoda i'm trying some content sharing i share the cisco spaces user interface directly from my device i go through the various settings i have available on the room bar in a webex meeting so i can go through the various layouts I can enable people focus. I can even minimize the content part so the people are shown across both screens and the content is a little bit smaller. I have the camera settings available. So it's basically a native WebEx experience we have here in uh, Microsoft Teams room modus of the room bar. Let's see how uh, Microsoft Teams meeting experience looks like. So we are joining the Microsoft Teams meeting. We see that we also have a dual screen experience. So we have both screens filled with the participants. Um, content sharing is available is also then moving to one side of the screen but there is no layout to minimize the content for example but we have basically all native Microsoft Teams room settings available on the device we see the participants we can pin them for me for everyone we can change some meeting settings and we have the layouts available that we have. Let's end the meeting here. So let's also try a Zoom meeting. I sent an invite to the device. I joined with the Microsoft Teams Rooms direct guest join option. I need to let the device in. We have two participants waiting in the meeting, but only one of the participants is showing and I don't have a layout option available at the moment. And I basically see the speaker and the content if I share content here. I move to the device itself, connect the USB-C connector, but I can't share in the Zoom meeting with Microsoft Teams rooms. I do uh, share locally on the device, so this is available. I can also see that the USB-C pass-through is working, so I change the camera to the device camera. And the same is also true for the microphones and speaker. That was it. Thank you very much and See you soon.